Hey, what's up, just friends? Welcome back to the grind. Okay, we are playing CVRMV from the motherland, Ukraina. Okay, D4, D4, D4. My favorite response to D4 is Knight of Six. And then followed up by E6. That's my favorite move. I'm not going to try to cheese this guy with this uh, England Gambit uh, E5 business here. Uh, I like this play here. I like pinning the knight on c3 with the dark square bishop and then trying to apply pressure with e4, knight e4. Um, I've had two games where I've done that. And uh, everyone always gives me a hard time because I always take with the bishop first instead of taking with the knight and then forking the rook uh, with bishop c3 check. So I'm going to see if I can try to get that going this game. Mm, let's see. I want to develop the knight, but... I think of what the best play here is. I don't quite want to move the dark square bishop out yet. Um, I can almost like d5 so I can just let the light square bishop get out to d7 or something like that. Maybe that's the big idea. Hmm. Let's try it. There he goes. So this will force his dark square bishop out, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see. We can kind of trade off in the center here. Uh, some knight e4 takes, takes check. Uh, pawn takes on e4, kind of forcing his knight back. But I think I'd rather just play a little bit more soundly. Maybe we just trade off if he pushes a3. Yeah, I was hoping he would get the dark square bishop out first, but. Oh well, it looks like it doesn't ha it look like it didn't happen. If he pushes a3, we'll just trade off. All good. All good so far. Well, let's think about this. I don't want the knight to be pinned. I just realized we have like an almost symmetrical position. <laughs> uh, um, hmm. Seems okay. Yeah, actually, identical position. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Who's going to crack first? Maybe getting the knight out to e4 is like better here at this point. Hmm, not sure. I think if I had one more piece, say maybe like the queen to support the attack on c3, it might be worth it. That might be a way to win a pawn. Hmm, but we'll see, I guess. I think maybe if he doesn't 
trade off a knight on c6 or something here. I can probably just push a6. I see. Okay, so what did he really just like weaken there? And the question is, do I want to go for this trade? Kind of don't want to go for this trade, uh, if I'm being honest. Let me think here. What's the advantage of not taking this? The reason why I don't want to is because he gets the pawn to e5 and then he has then he kicks my knight. So I'd almost rather let him trade off at this point. Maybe that's the big idea. I don't think he has like any other threats. I mean, he might try to take the bishop, uh, which is fine. I mean, I'll let the queen develop. I'm just going to try to kick his bishop. He'll probably start trading off at this point. There is so much tension on the board. Who is going to release the tension first? This whole game did not go like I was expecting. I was expecting a much earlier trade on c3 with the bishop here. NGL not going to lie. I know he'll probably take the bishop here. Hmm. I think I should have went for that knight trade earlier on c3. I think I should have went knight e4 earlier. I think I would have been in a better position not have these stacked pawns. Hmm. I think he's just debating on what he wants to take here. Interesting. I could always just like save this bishop, but then I'm losing a pawn. Hmm. I think taking this pawn is the idea, right? Boom, boom, check, boom. Then I have two sets of stacked pawns, which is like pretty messy. That is a big mess. Yeah, maybe I should have went for the trades first. Maybe I should support. Maybe I should support uh, a4. So in case we trade, he doesn't just win the bishop. <laughs> Two sets of stacks, stacked pawns. Not great, not great. I also, nah, do I want to push? I could push c5, right? So I can bring my bishop back. Can't I push c5? This game's getting messy quick. I think the only problem with c5 is he'll probably push a3 and then I'm forced back. Gonna try it. As the game's a hot mess.
This game is a hot mess. I'll be the first one to admit it. <laughs> I need to castle at some point too. It is even though, so. So take with the pawn or trade off. I'd almost rather trade off, right? I could just straight up remove the defender there, but then he is going to take c5. I want to do this in a way where I don't lose the bishop. Mm. I think this is the only move that I can make where I don't lose a minor piece. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but... I'd be shocked if he doesn't take this. He'll still be winning c5. And then we still have the even trade here. I do need to be careful of all this sort of queenside business here. Or uh, kingside business. I guess once he takes c3, that won't be as big of a threat. But Yeah, this, this game's a big hot mess, not going to lie. Interesting move. Well, doesn't this save my bishop from his knight? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to think too hard about this. I think he just blundered. I could be wrong though. And my pawns are just really weak. That's my main issue at the moment. If he takes a C pawn, um, I'll just trade off queens, and then he'll lose his castling rights. Could also just straight up take this pawn and then try to win this knight. Mm. He does that, huh? Well, I guess that just wins me another pawn. I also just do plain have that pawn over there as well, but mm, I don't know. Mm. Need to castle, right? I mean, not taking this pawn seems kind of crazy. Let's do this in such a way where we don't get forked. He's really close to forking me, I feel.
Hmm. What's the move here? E6. I really don't want to make a stupid move here. I feel like if I make a bad move here, it's just going to fall. Everything's going to fall apart. D6, I think. Uh, if he wants to trade off, so be it. I think he'll just take the pawn. That's probably the big idea here. Mm, I'm probably just going to castle if he takes that. And then I don't believe he has check anywhere. And I do have this free pawn, but I really want to castle up. That's my thing. I could castle queen side and then double up. Could attack his queen. The knight's on a really bad square. He's going to castle. I don't think he has any checks where I lose my queen here. Uh, yeah. I want to take this pawn. Also, I want to sort of support this open D file. Hmm. I think taking the piece is mandatory. I'm up a piece here, so yeah, I need to I need to just maintain that advantage. His pawns are a bit better, but I have an extra piece. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, very good. Yeah, I need my rooks to be more active. I plain just do have a uh, mate here. Mm, he'll probably just move his pawn up. But even if he does that, I think that's just okay, right? Let's see. Mate. Hmm. I'm just going to try it. Let's see if he notices. I think he'll push the pawn up. Yeah, he didn't notice it. Okay, mate. Nice. Okay, well, that's uh, one way to win. <laughs> CVRMV, good game. Good game, good game. Uh, he made one big blunder in the middle game, and then he gave me mate in one. Okay, so uh, very, very nice accuracy from the opponent. Uh, he got the magic accuracy, and I got 86. One great move, no blunders, a miss. And then we more or less played pretty even there. Um, yeah, he just kind of messed up at the end. But anyways, d4. Okay, e6. Book moves so far. a6 should have been the move. So he unpins his knight. Ah. Okay. So develop the knight kind of to the wrong square. This pins it. Yeah, probably castling was just the idea here, huh? I probably could have castled just a lot sooner.
Take him with the bishop. Hmm, he would have had the he would have had the advantage here. We're still even. But let me see what the advantage was with how it played out. So he was 0.82 compared to here. He had a 0.48. Interesting. 0.48. Yeah, it seems pretty even. I don't know. Your central strike gains space. You missed an opportunity to capture a free pawn. That was a free pawn, wasn't it? That was really silly. Why did I not take that? I'm just curious though. I think his big mistake here was just not trading pieces off here. You missed an opportunity to capture a free pawn, sure. But yeah, he didn't recapture here. So let's see, at this point I was up a pawn. And by the end of it, I was up two points. So yeah, he just lost a... Um, um, let me recalculate this. This one's kind of confusing. So at this point, we're, he's up a pawn, and the position's equal. And then really by the end of it, I was up three points of material. Yeah, so it looks like he miscalculated some that trade. He should have taken the bishop, right? Uh, but I should have taken the free pawn, so we both kind of made a mistake in that trade. Mm, okay. Mm, taking the queen. Well... So I had that much of an advantage here in this position. I'm sh I'm surprised. Either castle or take this pawn. Yeah, castling probably would have been more safe, right? Either castle or a5. I'm just wondering why taking this pawn is so bad. It's a mistake. Oops. Uh, I guess I can't get the hint from coach in the sort of self-review mode. Whoops. It's okay. Hey. Ah, this is a fair trade. Yeah, pawn for pawn. Yeah, it was either d6 or d5 here. I wasn't quite sure. So I was a little hesitant there. I was also thinking about d7 as well. But yeah, that was a fair trade, so. And then he basically won a pawn there. And castling was fine. I don't think he should have made that move. I, I think he should have kept on looking for other ways to um, try to win a piece since he was down two points here. And this is a little bit of a Hail Mary e, uh, Queen E5. Um, I noticed that his king was more or less suffocated here. So he probably should have just pushed a pawn or just moved his king over to B1 um, to protect Queen A1, right? Queen D4. Or just plain trade off here too. Uh, I'm just wondering what the engine says about B1. A bit better, yeah. I think there was a handful of moves that could have been played here. Yeah, but even then... Yeah, I mean, what did he really have? He had one extra pawn, but I had a knight, so... Yeah, he, he basically just had to find a way to win an extra piece. I don't think he should have gotten rid of his knight on e, uh, e6 there. Um, yeah. I know I'm totally guilty of that too. Like when you're 
down material, it's really tempting to just want to trade stuff off. But uh, even like myself, I'm trying to get into a better habit of when I'm down material, saving pieces and at least trying to find some tactic to at least even uh, the material count or at least try to find a favorable material count instead of trading off. Um, sometimes it's easier said than done, but I think that's just kind of what you have to do. Um, but yeah, GG CVRMV from Okaraina. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next game. By the way, new ELO high score, 829. Feels good, man. Getting closer and closer to that juicy goal. But yeah, thanks, guys. See you in the next game. By the way, this is the first time I've played another Ivan on chess.com, so that's very exciting to me.